A mass hunger strike in Saudi jails. Dozens of political prisoners in Saudi Arabia are abstaining from food in protest at their detentions without charge. Activists say more than 70 inmates have joined the protest action to also raise the alarm on inhumane prison conditions. They're hoping to capture international attention to what they call the gross violation of human rights in Saudi prisons. According to rights groups, some 30,000 people are being held in the Arab Kingdom's overcrowded prisons for political reasons. Many of them are being held without trial. Their families have held several public gatherings in major cities, including Riyadh, Mecca, Medina and Boreda. But so far, the protests have failed to bear any fruit. Well, to discuss that a bit further, and I'm joined by Mr. Intifat Khanber, who is a Middle East expert, who is joining us live now from Beirut. Mr. Khanber, as always, thanks a lot for joining us now. What is your opinion on the situation in Saudi Arabia as far as political repression goes, especially in the context of the fact that Saudi Arabia now seems to, to, to want to tell other countries what they should be doing? I just read the report issued by the Carnegie Foundation in Washington, D.C., in which it's pages and pa the name of uh, the title of the report. Sorry, it's the the Saudi uh, forgotten uh, uprising. Uh, there is a, a continuing revolution in Saudi Arabia. This is by the account of one of the most prominent uh, uh, and, uh, found uh, think tanks in Washington, in which it shows uh, uh, accounts and accounts and uh, of of uh, of prosecutions. Uh, uh, prohibiting uh, Shia from practicing their own rights of uh, religion, uh, religious practices and rituals, uh, 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 discrimination on a major scale between uh, Saudi citizens, uh, uh, oppressing and, uh, 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 and uh, jailing uh, uh, Saudis uh, without uh, trial or without lawyers or with uh, uh, some sort of, uh, 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 you know, extrajudicial uh, processes. Uh, this, the situation in Saudi Arabia. I think the name of the uh, the title of the of the uh, report, the Forgotten Uprising, is very appropriate. There's a, uh, I would I'd like to correct it and maybe call it the Forgotten uh, Revolution. Uh, what's happening in Saudi Arabia is is a, is a boiling under the surface of uh, of uh, pretendence of a stable regime i think uh, uh, saudi arabia cannot longer continue this way and even the allies of the united states of the of saudi arabia such as the united states and the west are giving advice to the saudis to reform but i think it's very clear that uh, the saudi family and its ailing rulers is very difficult and far from reforming the country at this stage and maybe the time has passed and it's too late. Right, so Mr. Khanber, if, if Saudi Arabia does not reform itself at this juncture, what do you foresee happening in the future then? Well, it's very clear. This is going to, con people are not going to uh, uh, stop demanding their rights in light of the, of the uh, 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 globalization, in light of neighboring countries such as Iraq and Iran, for example, uh, uh, practicing democracy and we just witnessed a very successful democratic process in Iran while we uh, while women are prohibited even from driving a car in Saudi Arabia this is a country that is uh, uh, that is uh, loaded with money and oil at the same time uh, they are living in the uh, medieval centuries laws and rules and this cannot continue and I think this conflict between uh, the so-called uh, Saudi Arabia uh, that we see on TV and propaganda and the real Saudi Arabia underneath is uh, becoming wider and wider and the gap between the new generations and the old ailing family is becoming wider. I think this is, uh, this is uh, alerting for a big explosion uh, on a massive popular level in Saudi Arabia. All right, we'll have to leave it for now, but of course, as always, we do appreciate your insight. That was Mr. Intifat Khanber speaking to us live from Beirut.